everyone, welcome to my next floss tube up update. It is the 7th of August and it's so hot here. I've really had enough of Britain being this hot. Um, it's, it was all very well for a couple of weeks, but 30 degree temperatures for two months with no air conditioning. I'm ready for autumn and winter now. I've had enough. It's just so hot here. I mean, we rarely get a summer, so I shouldn't really be complaining, but please, autumn. I'd very much like autumn to be here and work's been really busy so that's why I haven't uploaded because I always like to feel like I've got some progress to show you. I've got a whole pile of stuff here which I'll get into, it's not organised in any order. Um, so yeah I'm going to get into it. If I forget anything I might add a video, a, a video clip at the end of this just to see where we go. So I'm going to show you that I can do something small <laughs> because a lot of my projects are so big. So I, I am capable of doing smalls. This was the first thing I finished that was not in a frame. So it's um, as a pattern I actually made up. It's characters from my favourite TV show, which if you're not British, you won't guess. And if you are, you probably won't guess either. Um, I'll, I might tell you next time, but I can do smalls. <laughs> I quite like that. It sits by my telly, so I quite like that. Oh yes, my fabric of the month for July. It's from Chromatic Alchemy. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's, col it's called Colga, K-O-L-G-A. It's a 16 count Ada and I get the 18 by 26 because that's the size I really like. You can sort of fiddle around with it and there's not much size limitations on it. And I love that blue and the mottling on it. I have ordered August's one, which is a bit of a darker blue, but it's got red spots in it, red mottles in it. And I absolutely love that. I'm not in the Fabric of the Month club on Chromatic Alchemy. I log on to the site at the first week of the month and see if I like it, and all barring one, I have absolutely loved it since I started doing it. So that's that one. I've no idea what I'm going to stitch on it. But I, I love that. It just looks more grey there, actually. The blue, the blue grey there. Oh gosh, what have I got next? Oh, I know what this is. I've just put it all in a pile, so I'm just picking up, and then we'll see. Um, I've been working on. Oh, I can't even remember her name. That Nora Corbett, which is the name slipped up. Gwen, but I'm not doing her in those colours. I'm doing her in blue. So she looks very Cinderella-ish. She looks more like Cinderella than I had planned. My cat's coming to say hello. Do you mind? You were perfectly happy asleep upstairs. That's why I started filming. So that's what she looks like so far. I've done all the black, the dark blue, which is the black on the pattern. I've done all of that in the dress, so it's just filling it in and then everything else. The pattern says two skeins, uh, sorry, the pattern says three skeins of black for 16 count and I would disagree with that because I haven't used a full skein of that blue on the dress and it's not going to take me another whole skein of black to do the trellis, the fence and her hair, it's just not. So it says three on the pattern, I think that's generous. So that's that one. I, I'm really quite pleased with the progress I made on that one. I forgot to mention last time I'm doing this in anchor threads rather than DMC. It doesn't make any difference to me. It's what I had um, when I found the electric blues that I really wanted to use. They were anchor, so just did the whole lot in anchor. I don't think that'll take long once I get going on the middle of the dress. I love this fabric for her as well because it's pink and green and grey. I'm going to have to see if I can find where the order was last year to remember the name of this fabric. Because I didn't buy it, it was a birthday present, so... Oh yeah, what have I got next? Oh yes, I've, been doing, I've actually done some more of my Heaven and Earth. I've actually managed to find a printer that works. So that's what she's going to look like. Uh, mini one the artwork oh is by Zindi SD Nielsen 
and Chartered by Heaven, uh, Heaven and Earth Designs. And I've been in love with this one for a couple of years before I even bought it. And I've done a little bit more. Oh, that's actually the chart and that's a bill. <laughs> um, so I've done a little bit more. I think last time I was around about there. So going up, I have done quite a bit and we've got, finally got to the folds of her skirt. So I'm really pleased with how that's coming along. This is going to take me years because I'm not really a full coverage person. So I know this will take me years. It's three pages wide. And I, I think it's three tall. It's four tall because the bottom page is about that wide. It's four tall, but I'm not going to do the top pages because it's just sky. Sorry, right here. Yeah. The top row of pages is just sky and I haven't got time for that. That's just, I'm not doing that. So that's where I'm up to on that one. Um, all purchases. Um, all purchases. I bought another chart because I needed more. I bought a long dog sampler, Froth and Bubble. I have never done a long dog sampler before. Um, I have been totally inspired by McKenna of Stitching in Sequins, who's just finished her Virtue piece. So I'm doing this one. It took me ages to pick which one I wanted. I've looked at the chart really closely. I don't think it's going to take me too long. Uh, sorry, sorry, no. Uh, I don't think it's going to be very complicated because each emblem is sort of motif is outlined in black and then it's filled in with one, sometimes two colours. So I think it will take a long time, but I don't think it's complicated. Because once you've done the black, just fill it in. So, But I, I love that. And I have started it because I can't buy something and not start it. Oh gosh, where are we? That's how far I've got. So I'm on the top band. I haven't done the border. I will probably do the border at the end. And I'm liking how it's looking at the moment. I don't have all the colours for it. What I'm using, I'm using silks for this. I, oh, I'm going to butcher the French now. Um, what is it? Auvert, Auvert Soir, Soir d'Alger silks for the colours. I'm not using silks for the black. Black is black is black. It just is. So they're the silks I'm using for the colours, I suppose. And I bought them. I bought them in the last month as well. I can't tell much of a difference, to be honest with you, stitching with silks and stitching with DMC. Maybe it's because I'm on Ada. I can't tell a difference. I don't think it's worth the money, to be honest with you, but as I've got them, I will carry on with that. Um, yeah, I don't think it's worth the money. The shop I used for them, though, which is what the bill was there for, was really, really good. Um, I struggle to find places in the UK that will ship for a reasonable price. Let's have a look. West End Embroidery, that was it. It was really, really quick shipping actually. It got here about three or four days before I thought it would. So that's where I've got up to on that one. I think, that's my last whip, I think. I've done a little bit more on the Game of Thrones banners, but it's one strand of red, so I'm not getting that out because really you, you barely notice it. Um, it just doesn't feel worth it. And I do have a finish, which is my Reflections of Paris piece, which I will put in here. I have just finished this today. This is Reflections of Paris, done on 14 count Ada. And I love how it looks. I'm really, really pleased with how it came out. Um, I've put my initials down there, They're just in the corner with the year. And yeah, I it looks actually quite good on camera. Sometimes it, sometimes when I'm looking at just a portion of it because I've done it on a hoop, it doesn't look quite right. But I quite like that. Um, I used, I only used three skeins on 14 count and that, oh I'll put it on the white, that's what I was left over with. <laughs> so 
So it's possible to do it with three skeins on 14 count, but I wouldn't recommend it. I was playing thread chicken from about there downwards. I'm pretty sure I have a fourth skein, but I'm not entirely confident where it is. So that's that one. I wanted to show you as soon as it was done because I'll probably find a frame. I like thing having things finished, properly finished. And that's the back, which is relatively neat for me, especially for me. I usually don't care about the backs um, because no one's going to see them apart from me. But it's a, it's a one colour one, so it wasn't going to be too dramatically bad. And we'll see what I do with that. And that's her framed. Be nice if I had a square frame, but I don't have a square frame, so it's going in that one. I did do my signature there. I quite like this. This is I, I live with my mum, so and this is a gift for her, so it's hanging in our living room. It has a row of symbols on the top when it's hanging up. But yeah. I'm quite pleased with that. I would definitely do another ink circles one for that. I framed that myself, so. Oh, let's balance that there. And on that subject, I got over 100 subscribers since the last time I was doing this, so I'm so pleased. So I'm going to do a giveaway for the chart for that one, if anyone would want it. Uh, if you do want it, just write a comment saying, I would like to stitch Ink Circles Paris, and I will pick someone let's say the 27th of August, because that's my birthday so I'm going to remember that, I will pick someone on the 27th of August at midday and then I will send it, I will send it internationally. If I do more giveaways I might not send them all internationally but this one because it's my first one I will. And that's that. So I just say I would like to stitch Paris and if, if it does go to somewhere not in the UK I might fold it in half so if you've got a problem with that um, don't go in for it. I've not marked the chart. I photocopied it when I was stitching it. So yes, if you want it, comment. I'm so pleased to have 100 subscribers. It's amazing because mostly I was making these videos so I would know. Hello. So I would know where I'm... Matilda. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. She's not really that vicious. She's just scared. There we go. I started making these videos so I would know where I got to because last year and the year before I felt like I was making absolutely no progress and I know I was. I know I was. So yeah, 100 subscribers was really good. So if you'd like to stitch that, I would like to stitch Paris in the comments and I will draw on the 27th of August. That gives me enough time to get this video uploaded without getting in, in a muddle. And I think that's all the cross stitching. That I have here. One other thing, that's all the cross stitching so if that's all you're here for, see you next time. I have bought a diamond kit painting kit because I saw everyone else doing it <laughs> and I bought Pocahontas and that's where I've got to at the moment. I am not as struck on this as everyone else seems to be. I have a couple of problems with crafting I suppose in this way. One thing that I worry about, and I worry about before I bought it, but I bought it anyway. Um, I worry that when this loses its stickiness, the diamonds will come off. And a few have pinged off anyway. And I have ones that have pinged off, have been on the top row, that I have actually flattened down under a book like they tell you to adv like they advise you to in the instructions. So they shouldn't really be pinging off, and they are. And I'm not really that happy about that. And the other thing is that you need somewhere really flat to work on this. It's not like my cross stitching that I can put it in a hoop and that I can roll the rest of the fabric up because that can't be rolled. Oh gosh, that's sticking to my hair. That can't be rolled once it's done. It's there. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I will probably persevere with it and carry on. But I'm not really that happy with it. And also, I cut the paper horribly. I cut the paper horribly. 
I followed the lines, so I always cut through the same letter. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, see, oh, that says USA, because that's obviously where it's from. And I was cutting through that, but it's not on a straight line, so it goes really, really wonky. So that's another issue that I've cut them wonky. I'll peel that back if you want. I'm just not not as enamoured with it as everyone else is. It is quicker once you get onto a block of solid colour. It is quicker. But I don't know if that's worth it, really. I will not be buying another one, but, you know, I had to see what all the fuss was about. Plus, I've been looking for a Pocahontas design for ages in Cross Stitch, and I haven't been able to find one that I like. So this sort of got rid of that. Pocahontas was always my favourite. And I think that's everything. Thank you for coming back and watching. Oh, for the giveaway, don't say giveaway in the comments because I will delete it. Um, and you have to be a subscriber for that. And you have to be 18 or over so that I can get your address. And I think that's it. I've probably forgotten loads, which I will then try and add into this video. And I will see you next time, which will probably be in September, because work is just absolutely manic at the moment. I can't wait for autumn. <laughs> I've had enough of this heat. I just want it to go away. Oh, I'm not designed for this heat. I'm designed for frosts and jumpers and Strictly Come Dancing. That's what I'm designed for. <laughs> so until next time, thank you for watching. Bye bye.